Bridal craft assimilation can also be carried out using anhydride. So this is acid anhydride. can remove and as usual we get acyl bench the byproduct is r c double bond o oh. can also be carried out using benzene and acid different variety see when acid is used for the generation of electrophile hf or phosphoric acid or polyphosphoric acid is used now in this case a water molecule is removed and we get the same acyl benzene Now the most important point. The limitations in Friedel Crafts reaction. What are the limitations? Or the interesting points you can as i said seen friedel craft reaction carbo cation is the electrophile so when carbo cation is the electrophile there is every possibility that it rearranges to a more stable species right let me give you an example <clears throat> now suppose benzene is treated with the say n butyl bromide one n butyl bromide this of course reacts with a lewis acid then as usual the br minus donates a pair of electron to albl br3 and then albr4 minus is removed then we get this type of a carbocation now this carbocation is of one degree type 
anyway this is a less stable one can be rearranged to a more stable one by one two hydride shift Now with one two hydride shift, we get a two degree carbocation, a more stable one. Okay. Now this two degree carbocation reacts with the benzene. It's not the one degree carbocation, but the more stable two degree carbocation is attacked by benzene. So that is how we get one, two. I'm writing the final product. This carbon gets connected which has got a methyl group on one side, ethyl group on the other side. So this is how we get something unexpected. Because the thing what we have started with is N-butyl bromide. And we expect this kind of a product. This is what we expect. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now one, two, three, four. That is what is expected. I mean, N-butyl benzene is what we expect. But we got secondary butyl benzene. So that is the interesting part. Aryl and vinyl halide cannot be taken. It is because Aryl and vinyl carbocations are highly unstable. It is because the positive charge cannot get delocalized. See, this is vinyl halide. When this goes off, we get a vinyl carbocation. This one. Now this positive charge, you know, it cannot delocalize because you got a pi bond here itself, just connected to that. If it were to be on the next carbon, it would have been possible. I mean, it would have undergone Delocalization, but as of now, cannot delocalize. Same is the case with aryl halide. This is vinyl halide. So when you go for aryl halide, 
even here also it will be the same problem when this is removed we get phenyl carbocation now even here also the positive charge cannot delocalize see for delocalization we can actually take this kind of a thing supposing it allyl chloride is taken when this goes up we get ch2 double bond ch then ch2 plus now the delocalization is very much possible so this can go to the rescue of the positive charge this is just for your information i've taken allyl carbocation you've already seen such cases earlier so aryl and vinyl halides cannot be used in friedel crafts reaction so there is another problem that in friedel crafts alkylation polyalkylation takes place very often but poly acylations are not that common why let us check with polyalkylation first why do polyalkylations occur let us see this taking an example now when benzene is treated with the propan tool okay in the presence of a lewis acid bf3 at a temperature 60 degrees centigrade now what happens as and when this goes off we get a 2 degree carbocation no chance of delocalization you already got a stable one come on when this type of an attack occurs what do we get we get isopropyl benzene as a product now this is where the interesting point lies now the alkyl groups are anyway plus i affecting this is an alkyl group i mean an isopropyl group plus i as well as hyperconjugation are possible when you have an alkyl group and see these alkyl groups are of course electron releasing groups 
Now, all the electron releasing groups, when they release electrons, the benzene ring gets activated. Right? What I mean to say is, as and when the electron releasing group releases electrons into benzene ring, it becomes more activated and it becomes more susceptible to attract an electrophile, right? Because electron density is more in the ring now. Has become more nucleophilic. So the electrophiles will be very happy to actually come to these nucleophilic centers. Okay, so electron releasing groups are generally activated. Now these activators, they generally increase the electron density in the ring. When electron density in the ring increases, electrophile approach readily. Isn't it? Now that is the reason why Along with this, polyalkylation occurs and we get even this product also. Another isopropyl group at the para position. Of course, this is a major product. I'll tell you how we got this later when we discuss what are are those para directors and what are meta directors? After that, you'll come to know how we got this. Now, this is para diisopropyl benzene. This is how the polyalkylation occurs. And this polyalkylation is as such because the alkyl groups are electron releasing and they activate the ring, I mean, they increase the electron density in the ring. As a result, electrophiles approach readily. Then why not polyacylation? No polyacylation. See in Friedelcraft's acylation, this is what we get as a final product. We call this acyl benzene, right? You know this acyl group itself, especially the C double bond O group that is connected to benzene ring is an electron withdrawing group. See, just like the electron releasing group releases electrons and activates benzene ring. Electron withdrawing group withdraws electrons and decreases electron density 
in the ring. Now, when electron density in the ring is decreased, the electrophiles do not approach that readily. Because electrophiles are, after all, electron seeking reagents. So, here, because the electron density decreases as acyl group, or especially the C double bond O, I mean, C double bond O R, of course, is an electron withdrawing group. Now, what happened because of this? Let us see. This is the acyl group, a withdrawing one. Okay, of course, that is one such reason. But when treated with the, the Lewis acid for the generation of electrophile, which we normally do, Rather than this going and attacking, you know the lone pair present on the oxygen comes into picture, comes into play. The lone pair on oxygen is given to the Lewis acid. This is something unwanted. As a result, See, of course, there is R. Now the double bonded oxygen with a pair of electrons still there. I'm the ALCL3, which has got an extra electron. You know, as such, the acyl group itself is electron withdrawing. We know that it decreases electron density. But now, look at what has happened. You got a positive charge on the oxygen. Now, this positive charge is the reason why it becomes much more withdrawing. Now, this complex, what has actually formed, remember it is much more withdrawing. Than the regular acyl benzene. Therefore, no polyacylation. No chance. Okay. Now there is one more important thing. See, Friedel crafts alkylations and acylations generally fail with some comp which are 
moderately withdrawing or strongly withdrawing. Let me give you the list of This is an important point. NO2 is a withdrawing group. A deactivating one decreases electron density in the ring. Even this. All these groups when present on benzene ring, deactivate the ring as a result, no Friedel-Crafts reactions with the, these groups whenever they are present on benzene. But what the problem is, you know the electrophiles that we use in uh, Friedel-Crafts reaction are weak. The electrophiles require some electron density. That is the reason why they approach benzene ring. I mean, they approach the pi bonds of the benzene ring, the pi electrons of the benzene ring. But see, the pi electrons are even attracted. I mean, pi electron density is even attracted by the deactivating group. So there is a kind of competition between the electrophile and the withdrawing group for the pi electron density in the ring. Now, in this competition, you know, the deactivating groups generally win because they are stronger. And the electrophiles that we use in Friedel-Crafts reactions are a weaker one. So because these are weak, they cannot compete. with the deactivating groups for the pi electron density of the ring. Yes. This is very interesting. And one more interesting thing. Coming to the amino group, you know, generally these amino groups, of course, when they are present on benzene ring, they are releasing. But there is a twist. Look at the amino group and H2. NHR NR2 
primary, secondary and tertiary. No doubt. The basic amino group has got a pair of electron at nitro, nitrogen. So R plus M, I mean releasing. They have to be activating. But the problem with amino groups is, as and when they react with the, the Lewis acid used in the Friedel Crafts reaction. Though it is releasing the pair of electron is given to aluminum, which is a Lewis acid. Now, look at Nitrogen gets a positive charge and aluminum a negative charge. Now the thing that is connected to benzene ring has got a positive charge. That is the point to be noted here. Now the amino group, which is basically a releasing one, has now become a withdrawing one. When you have a positive charge and when you have electron density, of course you'll be withdrawing electrons from the ring. So, no chance of Friedel Crafts reaction. Amino group is converted into a powerful withdrawing group. by the Lewis acid. Therefore, no Friedel Crafts reaction. This is very interesting. Okay. So these are the limitations of Friedel Crafts reaction. 